Britannia, the once renowned chain of magnificent hotels, known to impress with its exquisite design, wonderful historic buildings and beautiful interior, now known as the worst mm. hotel chain in the country. For the 11th year running, that's not a very good title. I even checked a few reviews which described it as terrible. Avoid this hotel. Just the word no. And some great advice from John to just get drunk and sleep in the gutter. Which I guess could be an interesting video idea. Taking notes. Surely it can't be that bad. Can it? I mean, I mean that's pretty bad. So using my complete lack of hotel experience and incompetence, I'm going to find out whether this is true. It was a Well, that's a good start there. The lights don't work. Wait. I, I don't think there is a light. Nope. Okay, maybe this one. Nope, there is a light bulb in here. Fuse is on. Okay, so that's two lamps not working. And um, third time's the charm. There we go. So out of three lamps, one of them works. Great start. So then I wonder what these are for. I'm going to hazard a guess and say there used to be lights in here and they have removed them. Well, the carpet seems all right, excluding that little speck. Um, it looks a bit dated. Also not great that that's, this is the most light I can get in this room. There's no other sources of light. I just booked the standard double, but I think about a double executive. Guess I knew I was coming. So when booking this hotel, I opted not to pay for breakfast and a windowless room because I wasn't feeling the prison vibes. But the prices don't seem to add up. A double room with breakfast cost me an extra £24. Breakfast on its own cost me... What? eleven ninety five. Now I am pretty good at maths. But this did not add up. £88 minus £64 equals £24. £24 minus eleven ninety five equals twelve oh five. What's the extra twelve pound five pence for? I checked the options again and again and again, but I couldn't find out what that twelve pound five pence was for. So choosing a room with breakfast included is more expensive than choosing a room with breakfast separately. Who knew? Anybody in the comments knows why this is the case? Now back to the video. So let's have a look. My towels and the fan, doubt I'll be using that. I mean, yeah, let's be more conscious with the energy that we use. But I think removing the light is a bit extreme. Check out the bathroom. Yeah! Doesn't look too bad. A bit worn. Again, a bit dated. Is that a crack? I think it's a crack. So check out the toilet. Bit of hair. A few marks on there. Seems a bit odd. And the seat here. Oh, is, oh, is that is that poo? No, no. Oh wait, is it? No, I don't know. Is that poo? No, no, no. It's just an old toilet seat. I mean, this seat needs to be changed. Panic over. It's just a really old toilet seat that definitely needs changing. Okay, so that's that. How does the, the shower work? I'm gonna guess if I have to get this running. And then swap to this. No. Whoa. There we go. And it's warm. I must have read some really unusual reviews. Problem is I'm I'm looking for problems. Because I'm expecting them. And I can't really see any. Actually not too bad. Though I am on the top floor, which means it might have given me the nicest room. They've been giving everybody else nice rooms on the top floor. Just let's check out the bed. Now I have had rumors of bed bugs, so I'm a bit conscious, but I mean there's a couple of marks here. Um 
just seems like a standard bed. It's actually a lot better than I was expecting it to be. I was expecting this to be a real rotter, a real bad place. Standard tea and coffee. Excellent. Not too shabby. Honestly, I'm only impressed because my bar was so low. <laughs> have to keep that in mind. Time for the bed test. Yeah, boy! It's not bad, though I know my mum's watching complaining. Harris, why didn't you take your jacket off? Go get comfortable. I mean, I'll test it out tonight, but uh, I'll give it a general 3 out of 5. That chair looks like it's missing from a complete set. Oh, what's this? Oh, no, hair dryer. Is there anything surprising on the floor? Nope. I'm actually perplexed. Although, having only one lamp is pretty bad. I think that's the same chair I used to have at university. Where the bottom comes... Oh, nope. Never mind. Not the one I was thinking of. Okay room? I mean, it's not fancy. Um, it's definitely lost its Britannianess. But to be honest, it's not bad. It looks relatively clean. The carpet's nice. I think Dated is the best way to describe it. Plus, considering how much I paid for it and where it is located, bang in the city, it's not bad. Kind of disappointed. Really wanted it to be bad. You know, just because they're making more of a juicy video. But it does feel like a room. The protagonist, you know, from a TV show, something's gone wrong. So they're on the run. I mean, the curtains look like they've been painted as part of the wall. Usually it's a motel if it's in America. See what I mean about the curtains? Then there'll be a knock on the door. And you can see it there as well. And one of them's trapped to this very chair. Feels a bit like an interrogation room being tortured. I am getting a bit concerned about the noise. I can hear the roads a lot. I'm currently zapping their nipples. Like the windows are open. And then... Murder! Is this... Now if I want to look out the window... Yeah. One of us could do with some cleaning, but uh, he's not the best view. That's probably the hotel I should be staying at. I'm hungry. I'm probably just going to go and get something to eat or something ordered in. Because I don't think they actually serve food. They don't have their own restaurant here. Which kind of makes sense because you're in the center of Manchester, so why, where, why would you go anywhere else? It smells good like the devil's lettuce in here. Also, my uh, car doesn't work. Great. Now let's go back to reception try and get it sorted. Got me some tie. The lifts are really slow here. Sort of the issue out with the card. I've got the activated. Probably had it near my phone. The reaction with the card is fine. Let's see if this works. Yes. <sighs> yes, yeah, so I'm going to munch on this. I forgot how dark the room was. I returned to the room to enjoy my tie, and it was a really good tie. You can really tell I'm enjoying it. But I don't have any cutlery, so I'm using a teaspoon. After that, I thought I'd relax a little bit with the TV on. Let's see if the TV works. Nothing. Great. Just had a bit of a... I think there's water leaking out of the, the bathtub. Hope it's not leaking out of the toilet. Also, you can hear all the noise. And that's because they have this style of window, which really isn't sealed. Which means I can hear everything outside. This is going to be a terrible night's sleep. Also, the lamps are connected directly inside. So there's no plug socket. And they've done the same for those two, which means there's no plug next to the bed. So I can't lie in bed and charge my phone. So I can charge it there, there, or I can unplug the TV because it doesn't work. So there's two socks there, or there. But there's nothing there. See what I mean? The more time I spend in this room, the more problems I find. All I want to do is go to bed. <laughs> Luckily I bought my battery pack with me. A few moments later. I'm on the fifth floor. And it sounds like I'm on the ground floor. I can hear everything outside. I'm not looking forward to this night's sleep. Smell the pillow.
Just, just smells a pillow. Also noticed, it's I think it's two singles pulled put together. That's not reassuring. Yes, yeah, so I can feel the air coming in from that gap on this side of the room, and then on this side of the room, I can feel the heat from the radiator. So a bit of a, it's a bit of a hot cold vibe going on. Feels like I'm staying on punk hazard. One Piece fans will get that. I suppose the other bad thing is I can hear next door and every time they go out of their room the the bed shakes the walls are very thin she was coughing a lot I don't know what that was about wish me luck it's like 2 in the morning I can tell that there's a fight outside oh. The next day. Oh. Yeah. That wasn't so bad of a sleep, actually. I guess I slept all right. I woke up, I think, twice. Just because drunk people outside. Oh, it does not look like a good day. When was the last time these windows were cleaned? Whatever is leaking has clean gotten worse. Also spotted this. That's not good. There's a quick shower for me then. Turn off all, and I say all, of the lights. Well, that's convenient. We've got a little uh, bar for the curtains. Or in case you want to practice your ballet. As I show off my ballet skills, let me rate my experience at the Britannia. I'll use 5 categories to score each one out of 5, totalling up to a maximum score of 25. First off the bat, the room. It's very dated, fairly clean, one out of three lights work, the bathroom leaks, but it does the job. It isn't going to win any awards, so I'll give it a 2 out of 5. Next is the sleep, so this one's a bit weird for me. Due to all the noise and the terrible style of windows, I woke up twice in the night. However, overall I had a pretty good night's sleep, so I'll give it a decent 3 out of 5. The service was fine, didn't really blow me away. All the staff were friendly and helpful, did their job, can't really complain. 3 out of 5. Next is the hotel. Honestly, I'd give it a good 4 out of 5. 40 years ago. Today, however, the hotel interior is very dated and old. They are really pushing the limits on the prestige building elements from the past. They are trying to improve it, kinda, but it needs a lot more work. 2 out of 5. Now for what I think is the most important factor, the value. For this hotel, get what you pay for. It's the budget of budget hotels, so 2 out of 5. I wanted to give it a higher score, but I noticed that on the weekends the prices jump quite a lot, in some cases up to £100. I paid 45 quid for a night on the weekend, which wasn't too bad. Therefore, this gets a grand total of 12. 12 out of 25. I thought it would get a much lower score than this. To be honest, it was alright. It did the job. I set my bar pretty low, which probably helped me cope, but it wasn't anywhere as bad as the reviews made it out to be. And definitely better than sleeping in a gutter, John. Although I haven't actually done that, so I can't really compare. Would I stay here again? Probably not. But for 45 quid on a weekday, it's alright.